Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 2nd of exercise 7.2 and the question says in triangle ABC AD is the perpendicular bisector of BC you have to show that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC so in this it is given that ABC is a triangle where this AD is the perpendicular bisector of this BC. Now what does perpendicular bisector means? First of all, this AD must be perpendicular on this BC. And perpendicular means it should make an angle of 90 degree with this base. It should make an angle of 90 degree with this base. So these two angles must be of 90 degree each and what does bisector means this AD must divide this line into two equal parts bisecting means dividing something into two equal parts so this side and this side must also be equal the length of BD must be equal to the length of DC so here we have to prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. You have to prove that this AB is equal to AC. Now if you want to prove that this side and this side are equal, in that case you can prove that by proving that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. Now if this triangle is congruent to this triangle, in that, that case this side of this triangle will automatic, automatically will become equal to this side of this triangle. Now let's prove this. We are working in triangle. This is ABD and triangle ADC. This is ADB this one and ADC this one. In this AD is equal to AD this is common side in both the triangles so this must be equal for both and this angle must be equal to this angle that is angle ADB must be equal to angle ADC each is equal to 90 degrees this I have already discussed why these two angles are of 90 degrees and this and this side is also equal that is db must be equal to dc this is because ad is bisector of bc so the so we have proved that one side one angle and one side of this triangle are equal to the corresponding part of this so by side angle side we can confirm that Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ADC. This is by side angle side property. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, so obviously the remaining three parts must also be equal. So this side will become equal to this side. So AB will become AC. This is by CPCT. And if these two sides are equal, in any triangle if two sides are equal in that case that triangle is known as isosceles so triangle ABC is isosceles here so this is how we can prove this second question also I hope you have understood how to solve this if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact us Phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.